Hi, I'm glad you could join me for this ocean blue acrylic paint pour. This time I'm going to use Brilliant Blue, Raw Umber, Turquoise, Dark Turquoise, White. Um, I've been using Copenhagen Blue and other pours and I'm noticing it just doesn't come through as well as I would like, so I'm going to see if the Brilliant Blue does something different. So all I have in these cups is the acrylic paint. Now I'm going to put some of the acrylic paint extender in there to make it about as thick as heavy cream. I think I need a bit more on that one. It's not an exact science, I just kind of know what consistency I'm looking for. I think it's about two to one, mostly paint. Two times the amount of paint as there is paint extender. And then I'm going to thin it down even more with some um, soapy water. This, this cup of water only has one squirt of dish soap in it. And I'm going to put quite a few drops in each cup to thin it out even more. see what happens with these colors. This one's really gotten a lot lighter than it started out. Okay, so I have a fresh cup. First, that's very watery white. I think I might want to change that consistency before I move on. I usually like to go um, white first, then the lightest, the next lightest color. I think this one's the next lightest color. Sometimes I purposely drop them on top of each other, and sometimes I purposely put them sort of beside each other. And see how they're reacting inside that cup. So the blue is really kind of doing a chemical reaction with the with the teal. That's interesting. I think the white's going to take over if I put too much of that in there, so I'm going to put lots of teal. I have to fill this cup almost three quarters full to make sure that it bleeds over the edge of the canvas. So what I see mostly in there is hmm, brown and teal, so I'm wondering if that's the painting is going to be mostly brown based on what's happening in there in the cup. I'm going to put a little bit more bright blue, Let's see if I can overpower some of that brown. Turn it down with mostly water. because that was what I had on hand. So, we will do the dirty cup, flip cup. Let's sit there for a minute while all the paint flows down from the inside of the cup edges onto the canvas. See it seeping out a little bit. Really hope for a nice 
combination. You never know which colors are gonna take over. Oh, I like the veins happening here. I hope I can save those and make those kind of, I really would like to spread those veins out. Go that way. I like that teal there. I knew there was going to be a lot of brown, so I'm just going to let some of that brown flow right over the edge. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of some of that brown. I need to cover this corner, but... I didn't want that brown to be staying on the painting. It's nice as an accent color, but I don't want the whole painting to be brown. Sometimes you can just touch the corner and then it'll fill in faster. I like that white. This area. I'm going to try to see if I can get an interesting shape up in that corner. a lot of cells today, which is really interesting because other days I have gotten just the right amount of cells as I wanted. And today I'm not getting any. That's okay. Cover those edges. Let it drip off. This, all the edges are nice and covered. It's good. some really subtle things happening over there that I kind of like. Zoom in, see if you can see them. Bring this 
closer to the camera. Does that work better? Looks quite a lot darker in the camera than in real life, but I will show you a picture when it dries, and you'll see that there's actually quite a lot of contrast in there, but in this camera angle, it looks like it's all very similar. Oh, there, that's a better angle there. Here is what it looked like when it dried. A nice ocean blue acrylic paint pour. Subscribe for more videos like this. I will be doing some more acrylic paint pouring in the near future. Also, write me in the comments if you have any color combination requests. See you next time!